In this video, I'm going to show you how to brainstorm profitable products to sell online if you're clueless and have no idea what to sell. Now to find great products to sell, you do not need to be a creative person. You just need the right tools to help you do the research. And by the way, this is lesson three of a 10 part series. In the event that you missed the first two lessons in this series, you can grab them all by signing up for my free six day e-commerce mini course below. Now the first brainstorming tool that I want to talk about is the Jungle Scout Opportunity Finder and I'm going to show you exactly how I use it. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to start at my blog over at mywifequitterjob.com and what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down and click on this link. Now by clicking on this link, you can follow along with this tutorial step by step and in addition, this link will also provide you with 30% off all the tools that Jungle Scout has to offer. So just click here, go ahead and sign up and then you can follow this tutorial step by step alongside with me. Now Jungle Scout is actually comprised of two tools. The first Jungle Scout tool is called the Chrome app. And the reason it's called the Chrome app is because it's an application that you install on your Chrome browser. Now what's cool about the Chrome app is that it will tell you approximately how much every single product on Amazon is making. So let's say I went online and I typed in garlic press in Amazon and then I click on this Jungle Scout link here. Jungle Scout will literally go through every single product on the front page and tell you approximately how much that product is making, the number of reviews, and its sales velocity. So in this case, we did a search for garlic press and it looks like the number one spot is making over $100,000 every single month. And you can see all the sellers up to the top 15 in Amazon along with the number of reviews. Now, if you watched my last lesson, I already provided you with the guidelines for profitable products to sell on Amazon. And by using the Jungle Scout Chrome app, you can quickly determine whether this niche is actually profitable and whether it is too competitive. But one of the problems with using the Chrome app to do your research is that you still have to figure out what to search for. And if you're like me and not that creative, you're going to have a lot of problems figuring out what to type into the search box to begin with. Now, fortunately, Jungle Scout also has another tool called the Opportunity Finder, which makes the brainstorming process infinitely easier. Now, this is what the tool looks like. And I'm going to go under product research and the opportunity finder. Now what's cool is that Jungle Scout has scraped every single product on Amazon and has created a database for you to research. So let's say I want to find all the products on Amazon that are searched for at least a thousand times a month, sell at least 150 units per month and sell for over $20 with medium competition. Well, I can easily do that with the Jungle Scout opportunity finder. Now the first thing I do is I click on which categories of products that I want. Now I'm just going to click on a couple of categories here, but here are a few quick tips. I always stay away from electronics, computers, and cell phones because they tend to go obsolete faster, but most other categories are fair game. So I'm going to enter in a minimum price of 20 bucks, a monthly search volume of a thousand, very low to medium competition for the products that sell at least 150 units per month. Then I click on the search button right here. And in just a couple of seconds, Jungle Scout returns all the products selling on Amazon that meet my requirements. Now what you want to do is you want to go down this list of products and then Jungle Scout will give you ideas of profitable products that you can sell on Amazon. Every single product that is returned from the opportunity finder will fall within the criteria that you specified in the tool. Now what's great about the opportunity finder is that oftentimes Jungle Scout will spit out products that you never would have thought of to sell on Amazon. And what you want to do is you want to go through these products and think to yourself whether you can actually improve upon this product in some way. And once you have a product that you are interested in selling, just jot it down on a spreadsheet for further research later. Here are a couple tips. Avoid any search with a popular brand name that you recognize and do not sell anything that is trademarked or copyrighted. For example, I would avoid selling Disney shirts or any Disney products for that matter. So going down this list, the product Japanese calendars looks somewhat interesting to me. It's a little bit offbeat and I would never have thought to sell these types of calendars on my own. And it's exactly these types of random products that are the hidden gems when doing niche research with Jungle Scout. So the next step is that I type into Amazon Japanese calendars into the search box and see what pops up. And then I use the Jungle Scout Chrome app to analyze the demand for the product. So here's just a quick review in case I'm going a little bit fast. What I'm looking for in a good niche is that I want to see an even distribution of revenue across all the sellers on the front page. Basically, I don't want to see any single seller dominating all the sales. I also want to see at least a revenue of $5,000. I want to see reviews under hundred or in the low hundreds. And that's generally what makes for a decent niche to go into. 
Now, of course, there are exceptions to these guidelines, but it's a great starting point for your research. Now, Jungle Scout also offers its own opportunity score in the top right, and it's saying that there's high demand with low competition for these Japanese calendars. Anyway, if the numbers don't add up in this step, then just continue your research and pick another product. Now, another step that I like to perform to validate my niche is that I type in Japanese calendars into Google and see how much other Shopify stores are making selling these products. Now in Google, it looks like this shop Koyomi offers Japanese calendars. Now to see how many calendars that Koyomi sells in any given month, simply go over to mywifequitterjob.com and click on this link to get a free trial of shophunter.io. Shophunter is a tool that will tell you how much money a Shopify store is generating selling their products. So here's what the tool looks like. And in Shophunter, all you have to do is enter Koyomi Shopify URL into the tool. Now, if the shop is already being tracked by Shophunter, you'll get data immediately about the store. Otherwise, it might take a couple of weeks or a couple of days to scrape the sales data for that shop. Now, according to Shophunter, Koyomi Shop makes about $378 per day selling calendars. You can also push down and see exactly which products are generating these sales. For example, this particular calendar makes about $147 per day. Meanwhile, this calendar generates about $74 per day. Either way, you can use both Jungle Scout and Shop Hunter to decide whether selling these products is actually worth your time. But overall, I literally found this niche in less than 20 minutes with both of these tools. So even if you are not a creative person, you can use Jungle Scout to easily brainstorm hundreds, if not thousands of products to sell online. And you don't have to really think about anything. You can just use these tools and analyze the numbers to have them spit out potential products for you to sell. Then you can look at individual stores and see how much they are making selling these products as well on Shopify using shophunter.io. Now, one of the disadvantages of using this method for product research is that other people have access to these tools as well. So in general, you should always try to choose a niche where you have some sort of inherent advantage in selling. For example, if you have relatives that live in Japan, you would have a leg up in product sourcing for these calendars. I once had a student in my class that wanted to sell back pillows, which is actually an extremely saturated product to sell. And I initially told him that the product was just way too competitive. But then he told me that he was a chiropractor and I did a 180. As a chiropractor with a built-in client base and credentials, it would give him a leg up in this niche. But overall, the two tools that I presented in this video are great if you are clueless and have no idea what to sell. Now, if you enjoyed this short tutorial, there are many more tutorials where this came from over at my full-blown class over at ProfitableOnlineStore.com. Now, what's cool about this class is that I will hold your hand throughout the entire process of finding a product to sell, sourcing a product, selling on Amazon, and eventually starting your own website and your own brand. The class is heavy on interaction. And every single week, I hold live weekly office hours where I'll answer your questions in real time, and you can email me anytime 24-7. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and stay tuned for your next free lesson because there are many more coming. And in the event that you miss any of these lessons, you can simply go over to mywifequitterjob.com free and get the rest of the tutorials, or just click on the link beneath this video.